Hi, my name is Andrew Large, and I'm an engineer on the Tintry Analytics development team. In this first segment, I'll introduce the core resources we use as the basis for our modeling in Tintry Analytics. There are three general resources Tintry Analytics uses for modeling. Capacity, I.O., and Working Set. Let's start with Capacity. For Capacity, we have three related metrics. Provision Capacity, Logical Capacity, and Physical Capacity. Provision Capacity is the size of the virtual machine before thin provisioning, compression, or deduplication. And this is the size of the VM that's seen by the host OS. Logical capacity is the size of the virtual machine after thin provisioning, but before compression and deduplication. This also includes the size of snapshot data. Physical capacity is the size of the virtual machine after thin provisioning, compression, and deduplication. This is the amount of physical space actually consumed by the VM on the array. In the application, when we display a value for capacity in some units of bytes, We'll generally be referring to logical capacity, since that virtual machine attribute is stable across VM stores. However, when we show capacity as a percent used, we'll be referring to physical capacity, since VM stores don't really have a fixed available logical capacity. When we compute a daily value for capacity, we take the average of all the values reported for that day. Let's move on to I.O. As with capacity, there are three related metrics here. The first of these, IOPS, is just basically the total read and write I.O. requests per second submitted by the VM and expressed in operations per second. The throughput is the total amount of read and write data processed per second by the virtual machine and is expressed in megabytes per second. And the third, I.O. performance, is a synthesized metric representing the aggregate VM store I.O. and throughput resources needed to service the I.O. from a virtual machine and is expressed in basic units. When referring to I.O. in the app, we usually use the I.O. performance metric as it best captures the overall I.O. performance. To compute a daily value for I.O. performance, we find the busiest hour of that day and then take the average performance for that hour. Our final resource is working set and there's a single metric here we call working set. A working set is basically the amount of flash needed to store the hot data for a VM. Now, as your aggregate working set of your virtual machines approach the flash capacity of your VM store, I.O. operations will start to spill the disk and increase I.O. latency. Thanks for watching this segment. Next, we'll talk about a core abstraction we use in Tintry Analytics, the application.